Welcome to another edition of the Touristing Club. Today, Ushuaia. Where you can find a lighthouse at the end of the world, the train at the end of the world, and the tree at the end of the world is where Ushuaia, the Americas, and your vacations begin. There is where we can sail towards the south on the Beagle Channel and the Drake Passage, old mandatory passages for ships that wanted to cross from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific, what turned into a very disputed area among the European powers of the day. From there, we can visit Antarctic, the eternally white continent, with its amazing landscapes and fauna. Or, we can visit the penitentiary at the end of the world, an old prison that used to house some famous politicians. That's what earned the nickname of the Argentine Siberia. Ushuaia, the city located in Tierra del Fuego, the land of fire, also the name of the national park, one of world's southernmost national parks with an unexpected guest from the north the beavers, which were brought from Canada for their furs in 1946. Or, we can head up north to the Perito de Moreno Glacier, one of the biggest reservoirs of fresh water in the world, with magnificent, awesome, breathtaking cowings every four years. can ski at Cerro Castor during the Northern Hemisphere summer. Ushuaia, where you can celebrate the longest night in the world on June 21st when the sun comes up at 10 a.m. and it goes dark at 5 p.m. Ushuaia, that city you can enjoy during the summer or the winter. Ushuaia, where you can get the perfect king crab, the freshest trout, and great deer meat in any of their renowned restaurants, or simply have tea in the downtown area. Ushuaia because only those who dare to go to the end of the world deserve to gaze at the place where it all begins. Ushuaia. <laughs> 